ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first episode of the True Talk Show. My name is Da Prince Michael, aka Kobe Prince, aka Nikki. My, my very guest for our first episode of the True Talk Show happens to be our own father, who was the former head teacher of English and Arabic in Kanta South, who is also the Muslim Council Chairman for Nkonta South Municipal. He's also the second Deputy Chief Imam of Nkonta South Municipal. He's in person of Osman Bani Yahaya, which is also popularly known as Afa Yahaya. Daddy, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, my yeah. brother. Thank you very much. Thank you for honoring our visit to as well. It's, it's all pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. We have programmed our topic, which is for the first episode of today's show, to be the use of our local names and it benefit. That is, what is your take on this? Yeah. Uh, as we all know, it is very important each and everyone has a name or bear a name. And the importance of the name, which one cannot deny the fact that it is a reference. Hmm. If somebody is looked for or somebody is needed, we just use the name to look for him. Therefore, in short, a name can help us look for somebody or identify where he comes from. Okay. In the sense that uh, people think our religions have names, particularly Islam or Christianity, but it is actually false. Because any religion has no name. Names have been there from time immemorial. Hmm. If one says Abdullah is an Islamic name or Muslim name, which I think uh, maybe he hasn't read the history of Islam, neither has he read the history of Arabs. Abdullah simply means the servant of God. And then the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. The father was bearing Abdullah twice. Uh, he wasn't a Muslim as we know today. Wow. So Islam has no name, neither is uh, Christianity has a name. With a proof that Joseph, uh, excuse me, Moses was found on the river by the family of Pharaoh, who were not Muslims, neither they were uh, uh, Christians. So the name Moses means somebody found. Therefore, if a, a, a Christian says Moses is a, a, a Christian name, it means he's misleading people. Or if a Muslim says Musa, which is the same as uh, Moses, it's a Muslim name, it's also misleading people. But name is for identification, for one to know where you come from or where you belong to. It could be country-wise or, uh, 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 I would say, family-wise. Wow. Mm. Country-wise mm. or family-wise. Yes. So that the what advice do you have for youth who change their local names and they started, they started bearing the foreign names. It's unfortunate the youth think to be uh, to be a black man is a case. This is how the, 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 the foreign uh, the, the youth think. And uh, they also think it is very it is very uh, sad to bear local names so that your origin will be known. So some of them begin to hide their origin from the uh, 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 perspective or from the uh, public. They don't want people to know where they come from. But in God's own wisdom, he decided to create us in different tribes, in different countries, and in different uh, 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 clans, as I stated from the Quran, for easy identification. But if you think 
you 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 regard yourself as not important because you belong to a particular tribe uh, is very sad when you go to a, a dressmaker's shop you see that he has different types of uh, 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 what is it uh, styles to prove to the customer that he can produce more than necessary so god is also telling us that he's capable of creating different languages different tribes so if you want to hide your tribe from the sin it means you yourself don't know what you are doing and a, 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 a law can remain in the water for several years but cannot turn to a, a, a crocodile so changing yourself to foreign names can never make you an european or, or a, a, what is it a, yeah you, you can never be a white man just as one lady in uh, America was trying to uh, pe to perming her hair. Every now and then, she's trying to perming the hair, and then white lady told her that just maintain your natural hair because that is how you've been created. So don't waste your time and money just trying to change your hair to maybe white lady's hair. So changing your name into somebody's language can never make you one of them. It's very unfortunate. Changing your name to somebody's language cannot make you one of them. Yes. Please, if you are watching this video, remember, like, share, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel so that at least any time we drop a new video, you get the alert one time. So. Daddy, yeah. our last question for this show. Mm. What advice do you have for parents? Yeah, my advice is this. In the first place, we should sit down and manufacture our own local names in our uh, dialects, meaningful ones. But don't forget that we have another reason why, as I told you earlier, that we have uh situational names i've just read something that uh, in order to uh, deter or in order to avoid demons trying to hunt your child sometimes they give uh, bad names to their children because if you you give your child uh, as uh, maybe king in your dialect then demons begin to hunt him because uh, you've already told the world that your son is going to be a king. A king. <laughs> wow. So they, 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 they will hunt him. So they will name him slave. So that the demons will see that will ask, ask, after all, this person is he's, a slave. He's nobody. <laughs> he's nobody. But that is not the case. Give him God loves me. Give him my father, my father's uh, 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 bosom child in their language. In your, in your language. Hey, hey. Uh, me papa roba. And I said, in Taiwan. In Taiwan. In Taiwan. Wow. In Taiwan. Me and me papa dear. So these names are very important. Then the meaning of Tamaja, as I, I found out, Tamaja means. There was frequent death in that family, so the, the parents decided to name the uh, the, the surviving child as Tamanja, which means our family is full of red soil. Wow! Huh. So Tamanja means red soil. And which language is that? In Konkoma, Konkoma. Mm. from the northern part of Yes. Yes. Huh. So when this is believed, because they have that belief that enough is enough our family is full of red soil so this time spare me this one so india believe and then the child survives wow uh -huh. that's really really mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. thank you for honoring our visit to us well it's, it's all pleasure <laughs> like our guest said please let's be proud as an african Changing your name to somebody's language cannot make you one of them. Yes. Please, if you are watching this video, remember, like, 
share and please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you for watching and please give a local name to your children